Hey, this is OXDF, and uh, it's December 1st, so we're starting the Advent of Code 2022. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at day one. Actually, before we do that, I want to start off by just showing you um, real briefly my Gen Day 2022 script, or 22 script. Um, this is a script I'm going to use throughout this series of videos, and I'll give you just a quick overview of it here. Um, basically, what it's going to allow me to do is run it, and it's going to create the folder structure um, you know, for the, and give me a little stub to work on, download me the input, stuff like that. Um, I do have my cookie for my uh, advent of code saved in the environment variable AOC session. Um, and then if I, if I pass it with just a day value, it's gonna use that and get the, it's gonna, the first thing I put in will be the day value. And then if I put in rust as the second value, it'll allow me to generate some rust stuff, creating a new project with cargo, creating a nice stub. Uh, otherwise it's gonna do it, create me a directory, go into it, um, get the input and create me a nice Python stub. So um, I'm going to probably refer to this section of video throughout the series, but uh, for now, you know, that's what that's going to do. Um, all right, let's jump over into the web browser and take a look at day one, calorie counting. Um, so basically this, this whole first bit right here is going to, let's see, jungle, one star, good luck. So this is all just explaining that I got 25 days, two challenges a day, I need 50 stars. Um, the jungle is going overgrown. We need calories. Let's skip through here and figure out what we're going on. Um, the elves take turn writing down numbers in their sack. Each elf separates theirs with a blank line. Okay, so we're going to get a list of elves, each elf. So like elf one's got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Elf two has 4,000. Um, and so they're talking about the sum. Yeah, okay. So we can sum up how much each elf has. And we want to know how many calories are being carried with the elf with the most calories. Um, so that's not going to be too hard. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back over into VS code. So we can do, um, so we'll do source gen day.sh. I should have mentioned, um, the reason I do source is because that actually allows that will actually run the script and then stay within that same context. So things like changing directories and things will pass through. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we're in day one and we've got ourselves a day one.py that's starting and it's going to read our input.txt. Here's our input.txt. We have a a lot few more uh, elves than before. Uh, looks like 2,000, 2,200 lines ish. Okay. Um, my stub is going to go ahead and read these in as lines. I'm actually going to change that here. That's probably the most common way to treat the input, but here I actually don't want to read it as lines. I'm going to just do read. And uh, what this will allow me to do is to do a split. Um, so let's come here and we'll see. Uh, I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll say elves, E-L-V-E-S equals data dot split. And then we can do a double new line like that. And now we got each elf will be a list of these lines. Well, each elf will actually just be a blob of text, including new lines. Um, and so now we can say something like largest equals zero. We can say four elf in elves. We can say total equals, um, Let's see, let's go ahead and start to do our loop here. So for each elf, we're gonna take that and we're going to split it on new line. So now we have our elf blob is gonna be a bunch of a bunch of objects split on new line. And we, each of those is gonna be a string that's an integer, right? So we're gonna say uh, x for x in. So now we're gonna, this loop is gonna be, give me a list of all the strings there. And each of these, we actually wanna take and make an int. So now we've got, an integer, a list of integers, and then we just want to do the sum of that. Now, the one other trick I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if x, and that way if I get like an empty line or something like that, it just doesn't, it just ignores it and moves on. Um, so I think that should be good. In fact, let's add a dot, dot strip up here to remove any new lines. Um, and so now we can say if total is greater than largest, largest equals total. Excuse me. Um, and so down here, we can just say largest. Let's save this. We will. Does that work? Is there a way to make that work? I might have to fix my Gen Day script a little bit, but um, that'll work. Okay. So now we can do Python day one input.txt. And we get back an answer. Copy that. Jump over here. And we got part one. All right, so part two. Let's click here. Um, so we calculate the answers. They realize the elf with the most calories might eventually run out. Um, to avoid this, they'd like to know the top three. 
Um, and then when how many are carried in total by the top three? Okay. So we're going to come back here. And what we're going to do is instead of making largest, um, we're going to make largest an array like this. And then here, we're going to say total. And instead of, watch this, we're going to get rid of this entirely. I guess we'll comment it out. No, I don't like that at all. Um, is it block comment that I want? No, line comment that I want? I guess I want line comment. Um, we're going to comment this out. And we'll say um, largest equals sorted largest plus total. So what this is going to do is it's going to append, it's going to append total to largest. So now largest will be zero, zero, after the first one, like let's say the first one is 20. It'll be zero, 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 20. And it's going to sort it so that it goes littlest to highest. And then we want to get the last three. So we'll just say like that. And now every time we'll do that. Now you could say like, oh, am I going to be sorting a huge array every time? Is that going to take a lot of time? But it's actually not because largest is never going to, it's going to be always be four when I sort it. And sorting four is not, you know, not going to be hard. Um, so now we can come down here. We can say, we can make this. Right now we've actually still got, you know, um, our same answer. Or we should have. Oops. Oh no, we don't want, we want minus one. We want the, the last one. Um, it might be easier actually if we think of this as uh, if we do sorted and we do comma reverse equals true and then we get just the first three. Maybe that's easier to think about. And then I can do largest of zero there. Yeah, so now what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm going to sort them so the largest is at the beginning. Um, we could also just get not even worry about this chopping bit and see that it's actually not that big a deal. Um, if we run with Python dash I, we can see like len of largest is, so we have 258 elves. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, largest, I'm not sure largest is really the right term anymore, but so like there's the biggest one. We want like the smallest one is zero. There's an elf with zero. That seems unlikely, but maybe, maybe that just got, um, that's probably a new line getting jumped in here at the end, I bet. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go here. We can actually go up here and say, um, some largest three like that. Uh, let's do get out of here, run this and we got an answer and we'll go over here and plop it in and get our star. Hopefully. Cool. Um, there is one more thing I want to show you. I, I almost never write when I'm programming for myself, like this, this, something like this is probably useful for when you're figuring out, um, especially code you want to be able to share with people. Um, actually, let's, let's speed this up here a little bit. We'll do three like that and we can get rid of that. Um, but I always write, I love list comprehensions. So this might be a good chance to talk about list comprehensions. So, um, we'll start with elves again, although we could do, if we wanted to like really like golf this, we could start with the open. Um, and we can say, so if we want to do something like, um, we're going to say elves dot split on, um, and like that. Now we've got, that's going to give us a, you know, oh, sorry. That's not, excuse me, crack that again. We're going to do E L F for E L F in E L V for elves. Okay. So this right here is going to give us just the list of elves again. Now for this, we can take and we can split each of these on new line like that. So now we're going to have a list of lists, right? And so for this list, what do we want to do? Well, we want to, let's map the int function onto this thing. And so now we're going to return, you can think of a map return, you actually, you can think of a map return as like a list. You just apply this function to all the things in the list. Now it really uses, it creates a generator. And so if you want to actually get a list out of this, you'll actually have to pass it into list like that. But generator is going to be fine for us here. Um, so now we're going to have, this is going to give us a list of all the ints in the elf. And we can actually just put some around that right here and right here. And so now this is going to give us the number. So for each elf, we're going to have a number. And so that's just our, um, we'll call this like uh, totals equals that. And so we can come down here and we can say uh, print part one. And it will just be 
totals sub zero, I believe. Oh, we've got to sort this probably. Let's go ahead and put sorted comma reverse equals true. There we go. Now, if I did that all right in one line, we can have that. We can do print f part two. And this will just be sum totals three. Like that. And we can run this and we get the same answers. So um, this right here, this one line is doing what all of this up here is doing there. So um, I love list comprehensions, but I know some people find them hard to grok. So um, do whatever works for you. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, day one, off to a pretty easy start. Uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.